when it comes to telling stories, BET is doing something special. They're putting black women in front and behind the camera. Earlier, Lindsay spoke with actor Mark McKinnon to tell us more about this special filmmaker series. Hi, Mark, welcome to DBL. Thank you, I'm honored to be here, I'm, I'm honored. So I have to start with Chadwick Boseman because you know the world is still mourning the loss of such an amazing actor. And you both went to Howard University's theater school. So I wanna ask you, how has he impacted your career? Wow, um, first I have to say my heart and prayers go out to everyone who was close to Chad, his family, his friends, even the fans. Um, we all were impacted greatly uh, by his success, but also by his his advice. You know, he was really good at just helping the actor really understand what you should really go for. So Breast Cancer Awareness Month is just getting underway, and your upcoming limited series on BET Her, The Waiting Room, is about that a little bit. The cancer has advanced to your brain. I'm gonna be here. Good luck. Can you share your personal experience and how you relate to this message? Yeah, absolutely. You know, my grandmother, she had died from breast cancer, and so I dedicated my role to her as I prepared for it. BET heard did an amazing job of doing this initiative to talk about breast cancer and mental health issues and how it impacts women and the black families. Now, this series of short films was directed by black women, which I love, and you got to work with Miss Cheryl Lee Ralph, who I had the opportunity of meeting earlier this year. Um, what was that like? Oh man, working with Cheryl was, it was so much fun, uh, but I love, I love, I love how much she affirmed you, how much she inspired you. Uh, one of the things that I loved about Cheryl was her famous words, thank you. Like she always did that when you understood a point she was trying to make or it was a take that she loved, you would hear her go, thank you, really big. So that's something that I always hear to this day. And um, it, it, she was really good at bringing this vision, this story uh, to life and to help us reconnect with why this story is important to us. Now you also play a cop in Blue Bloods. And so I wanna know with everything going on, how does it help you relate and understand police or the experience of policing in this country? Well, it's, it's, it's so tough because, you know, you understand like why the police have to do what they do when it comes to protecting and serving our country, but also the daily decisions that they make. Every day is different. Every day is something that is new. You know, you can train all you want to, but when it comes down to the on the spot moment, these officers are in the moment. No, it doesn't mean you have permission to kill uh, on the spot because you are afraid or you feel like you have a reason to kill. Um, but I really think the officers, the ones who I was able to talk to as I prepared for the role, were really able to give me perspective. Um, and I didn't agree with everything, but I at least understood why their mindset uh, was the way it was when it came to on the spot um, decisions. Well, thank you so much, Mark. The Waiting Room premieres on BET on October 17th. I can't wait to watch.